Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw was in East Palestine yesterday renewing the railroad's commitment to help the village after one of its trains jumped the tracks and spilled toxic chemicals. He also talked about the cleanup, long-term testing, and the opening of a permanent office. With what else he had to say, here's First News anchor Stan Boney. Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw was in East Palestine yesterday touring the village park, which has been described as the heartbeat of the community. I've heard that a lot yeah. when I've been here and talked to really folks is. about what, what matters here, right? Yeah. Norfolk Southern has agreed to make a significant investment in the park and is also looking to buy a building and open a permanent office in East Palestine. We're going to stay here for the long term, and so we're looking at something that in town hopefully close to Main Street, to make sure that we continue our presence here. Shaw said he visited the derailment site twice yesterday to check on the progress. He thinks it'll take a couple of more months to complete the cleanup. What we're doing is we're acting with a real sense of urgency. We also know that we got to do it right, and we want to make sure that it's thorough. We're really coordinated and working under the oversight of the Ohio EPA. We've made a lot of progress. We've already moved 12,000 tons of dirt off-site and 9 million gallons of water off-site. Shaw says Norfolk Southern is working with the Ohio Attorney General on a plan to provide money for long-term water and health testing, along with property valuations. As I've sat down with the community members, what I've heard from the citizens here is those are the things that they're really concerned about going forward, right, is water, access to health care, and their property valuations. And so I've worked with my team and working with the state AG, and I've talked to Governor DeWine about it as well, is setting up funds that can take those concerns off the table. Shaw also reiterated what he has said several times. I'm terribly sorry that this has happened, and Norfolk Southern is going to do what's right. Shaw ended by saying the railroad has already spent nearly $27 million in East Palestine. And that's just the start. And we're going to be here a year from now and five years from now and 10 years from now, and we're going to have a response that makes East Palestine and Norfolk Southern proud. In East Palestine, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.